by with what press world press <laughs> Thank you, Yusuf. So let's take a look at what's making headlines across the world as per what other media agencies are covering. And we have some interesting news from the United States and North Korea, of course, a developing story. But you're going to start you off with more developing news from the African front, whereby President Lungu from Zambia is saying, has called um, or rather imposed a clause of the constitution that might mean that they will invoke a state of emergency following some arsonist uh, activities whereby two markets were actually burnt down in the capital of Zambia. So if this is approved in parliament, and it is something that is opposed by the country's opposition and civil rights group who say it's too much uh, too early, uh, this is going to be a state of emergency in Zambia because he says he has urged his citizens to desist from engaging in criminal activities, but clearly they're not listening and this is going to be an aftermath. So this will be interesting to see what's happening, uh, what will transpire if indeed parliament approves this clause that he has invoked of that country's constitution. Then there's more from uh, sou uh, you know, South Sudan. You can see pictured there the country's head, South Sudan's president, and uh, John Pobe Magufuli. And also Nigerian teenagers survived a 12-hour Lagos-London flight in the wheel of a plane. That's really interesting. If you want to know how this teenager and what actually, uh, you know, give him the guts to hide in a wheel of a plane, take a look at the African News website. It has more on that front. Let's move on to the next paper and see what's making headlines on your screen right now. We have the Al Jazeera website saying it's more on the Qatar diplomatic spat between some Gulf nation and that country. Then the headline for that is Saudi-led um, group Qatar Not Serious uh, says that the Qatar is not serious about their demands. They gave a 13-point list of demands that they wanted Qatar to approve in order to put an end to this um, uh, embargo that they had uh, invoked uh, on Qatar that has affected its economy adversely. So they had a meeting in Cairo and of course uh, from the headline there was no headway that came out of it. Qatar has said that this is just a provocation from this country. There's nothing positive that comes out of it. In fact they feel that this uh, list of demands or the charges that are being uh, uh, you know, fronted against Qatar are just meant to give the Western world a negative view of the country rather than actually uh, be for anti-terrorism and things like that. So that's what's happening on that front. And then we're having the United States also making headlines on the other digital website. The headline for that is U.S. ready to use force in North Korea in, uh, if they must. So this is a picture there is the U.N. representative of the United States. And they called an emergency meeting of the U.S. U.N. Security Council following a ballistic missile test that uh, uh, Kim Jong-un, the president of North Korea, has termed as a gift to the United States. And it came just as the United States was celebrating its Independence Day on the 4th of July. Then the BBC is leading with that particular story. The headline they are going with is we'll use force on North Korea if we must. Then this is a really huge statement. We know that uh, the United States is actually making its own uh, drills in that part of the world and North Korea is responding and with its own uh, missile tests and of course both countries want this to stop but clearly no one is backing down. Allies of both countries are asking for those uh, countries to stop all the activity, military activity, in order to, to ease tensions between the two nations. Take a look at that BBC website to know more on that. And then we're having Trump to give a major speech in Poland. So he is still touring the world, uh, Europe, making uh, visits to countries that he hasn't before. And this is typical of any new president's um, first term when they're, they, they're trying to, you know, get into the, the flow of things politically and diplomatically. So he's going to be making a speech in Poland. It's interesting to see what's going to to trans come out that is new between uh, in, in that country as is between uh, re with regards to its relation their relations then that North Korean story is still making headlines on the CNN website their headline is new escalation of threat to the United States I think this stems from that statement from a uh, Kim Jong-un who said that this is a gift to the United States and this is an intercontinental ballistic missile which means it can be fired from one continent to another continent which is of course a direct threat in terms of military activity. Then the subhead for that is UN, U.S. confirms North Korea launched an intercontinental ballistic missile. We already said that. Experts say Washington has few good options with regard to North Korea and its activities. Let's move on to the next paper and see what's making headlines on the East African front. The Daily Monitor is telling us that the Tanzanian member of parliament has been arrested for insulting 
problematic Magufuli. So it says that at uh, her press conference, Mdi questioned the competency of the current president. Clearly, Magufuli was not taking this lightly, and this pictured member of parliament has been put behind bars. This is not the first time that Magufuli is coming, uh, at, being at loggerheads with his critics. He has been really hard on the country's media, and of course, some members of his government, clearly, with this being the latest uh, victim, or rather, yeah, the latest victim, let's put it at that. That's the Daily Monitor. And The Guardian today is telling us more on um, what's happening in, with regards to children caught up in conflict, whereby some organizations that are uh, supposed to be responsible for educating children in conflict zones are being put to task uh, to answer why they have not actually used funds that are supposed to go to the education of children in conflict zone, as you have seen some uh, children right there pictured. This is a, a, a response uh, that has been published by The Guardian on why it is difficult to do this and some of the things that the local governments are supposed to do in order to make it easier to tend to the educational needs of said children. That wraps up our segment of World Press.